Oh, the lands, what? So we're gonna get you back into, woo, we're gonna get you back into your enclosure, buddy, okay? Hey everyone, and welcome to Space Lizard Exotics. If this is your first time to the channel, well, welcome. Welcome to Space Lizard Exotics. We have a lot of exciting things to do today. Well, if you're familiar with the channel, you know where I'm at. I'm in the Cayman Cave. We're with the little swamp puppies right now. Swamp goblins. I got some things to do today. We got some things to talk about as well. We're gonna try some things a little bit different today. We're gonna talk about the cave and see how they're doing. Are they getting more socialized? I think so, because Brutus is looking at me like he wants food or he wants to eat one of the two, which is technically both the same thing. Just kidding. Anyway, so Brutus has been awesome lately. He's been a little champ as far as coming out more, getting food, huge eater, way more social, not shy no more, absolutely amazing. Now, he is a little uh, sometimes uh, too hot to handle, as I like to say. We gotta change out the light though. Let's talk about that business real quick. So, this little solar glow light right here. Anyway, so, yeah, solar glow. Awesome. So I got that solar glow for these wonderful guys because uh, guess who popped through the bulb? Stinky pants did. So they are not uh, water uh, resistant at all, actually. And so just to throw that out though, Exoterra or Zoomed or whoever wants to make the light first, can you please make a swamp 160 watt UVA, UVB light, please, for the love of God? Like, so my came and stop popping that shit. These are expensive. Like 60 bones. Man. Anyway, but we gotta change that out because that little swamp gro goblin. Whatever you are. So he popped that. So we're gonna change that out real quick. I'm gonna show you how to change it out. I know it's just like screwing a light bulb, right? You're like, hell yeah, I know it's screwing a light bulb. But you don't wanna get your oils, your fingies on it. So we're gonna change it out real quick and we're also gonna try something a little bit different with the Caymans today. So let's do this up and let's get rocking. All right, so we got the light fixture ready to go. I'm gonna grab this uh, light out here. So like I was saying earlier, I know y'all know how to screw on a light bulb. I'm not trying to insult you like that. I know you are all intelligent, wonderful, amazing human beings, but like all of us, sometimes we just need a friendly reminder. I've done this before, actually, that's the reason why I'm doing this, because I've actually been like just in a rush, and I'm like, you know what, I'm just gonna grab the bulb and be fantastic, and I'm just gonna screw it in there real quick with haste, and then I realize, while well, I'm being hasty, shouldn't have grabbed the bulb with my thingies. So ideally, if you have gloves, do that. I mean, this is all I had today was a rag, but at least it's not my oils getting on the very hot ass solar glow bulb that's gonna get super hot. I don't wanna do that. So we're gonna put that in there and get that all taken care of. Like I said, I really wish they would actually make one of these bulbs like waterproof or at least semi-water resistant because, well, I don't know if y'all know this Exoterra, Zoom Ed, wonderful big corporations that could make stuff that you guys just choose not to. Um, well, reptiles, they splash around sometimes, especially if they're in the water, obviously. So caimans particularly. So if you guys get wind of this video, which I don't know if you guys will or not, that'd be wonderful if you guys could actually make a bulb that doesn't explode. Or you could just keep being money hungry and making the 160 watt bulbs and plus for $60 a piece. It's fine. I'll, I'll be a millionaire one day and I'll just make one myself. It's fine. Anyway, so we got that bulb in. Bam, wham, bam. There we go. So we're good to go. We're gonna get these little swamp goblins happy again. Are you gonna pop the bulb again? Cause they refuse to make me a bulb of waterproofness. They won't, they won't. Anyway, so let's get this bulb plugged in and got some fun things to do today. So I'm really excited. La di do, la di da. Tee hee hee, see that? Got my, little, got my little stand here. Got my little grounded protection stuff because as well as when they were splashing water, water was actually getting over on the little um, surge protector. No bueno, don't want that to happen. So, and they said, let there be light. What? How amazing is that? What's up guys, you guys got all the brightness now. Don't don't break it again, that was, that was expensive for death. Now that we changed that light out in the Cayman Cave, we are gonna be doing some other little fun odds and ends today. So I'm gonna try something a little bit different with the Caymans. We're gonna see how this goes. I don't really know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna be quite honest with you. Um, so only way to do it is, well, let's see how it goes. So let's get Brutus out first and see if he reacts. I'm just not even gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. We're just gonna get right into the clip and hopefully it goes good, hopefully. Hopefully it goes good, so let's do this. All right, so. 
as you can see here, got my feeders, got my energy drink. And so we're gonna try something a little bit different today. I haven't tried this yet with the Cayman, so I've only put uh, Nebula on the table once. It wasn't to feed her though, I was trying to do some socializing and she said, and she jumped. And so we're gonna try Brutus, but we're gonna do some food this time. So since Brutus has been a little bit more um, active, a little bit more of a go-getter to the food, we're gonna try him first and we're gonna see how this goes. So I'm really excited. What do you think's gonna happen? Comment below. Do you think he's gonna jump off the table? Do you think he's gonna run after me? Do you think he's gonna eat the food? What's gonna happen? Let's see. So let's get him out and let's see what happens. Good boy. What, are you gonna finish it though? That's the thing. Caimans are so funny. So they get like real like nervous and kind of like Kind of scared. Well, let's just say they're kind of scared. They're like, I've never kind of eaten in this environment before. Usually you feed me either in my home or in the feeding bucket. So what's going on? Are you jumping now? Okay. Okay. Oh, he jumped off. Oh, hey, where are you going? Mr. Man. All right, so I guess he's going to chill. Just chill. So he's, uh, oh, hey, where are you going? Where are you running to, mister? I'm just gonna let him kind of eat his food, so see what he does. I'm kind of curious myself. Hey, Mr. Man, what you doing, bud? This is super interesting, actually. So, yeah, I'm kind of, I'm really actually excited. Never really, never really had him jump off the table like that before. Um, with food in his mouth, particularly, I've had uh, Nebula kind of do a little pop off, so. Sometimes it does make a little nervous though. Of course, you don't want your animal to get hurt. It's not really a huge drop off. This is carpet as well. And they're pretty, they're very, t they're tough animals, so. But what is he doing? Where are you going with that food, bud? Why are you going behind? No, don't go behind there. No. So my caiman just went behind my little thing, so I should probably go grab him real quick. I'm gonna grab him. All right, so, well, he didn't do exactly what, well, I kind of expected on all accounts actually so i didn't really know what he was gonna do social sally here you know mr social butterfly as you can tell i didn't get this on film but he did get me a little bit when i was trying to pick him up i didn't have the camera rolling maybe next time maybe next time you'll see me just get murked by the brutus so if you haven't yet check out some of my tiktok videos and some of the youtube there are some videos of him nipping me but he did get me not bad though it was actually just a little this little love bite huh this is a little love bite but look how amazing he is, even handling. So once you get him in your hand, he's calmed down. Um, he was a little nervous. He wasn't. No, he didn't know what was going on. He was on the carpet. He was like, "What is? What are you trying to feed me this way for? I don't even like it. Should I run? Should I hang out with you, Dad? What's going on? Should I bite you?" Which he did. We're gonna work on that a little bit more. But you got to see little Cayman run around. That was kind of cool, wasn't it? See little Cayman run around the little the lands. What? So we're gonna get you back into. Ooh, we're gonna get you back into. Your enclosure, buddy, okay? I'm gonna get you back in your enclosure, maybe give you another mouse because you did so good. What do you think? I think he did really good today. I think he deserves a mouse. What do you think? Do you think Brutus deserves a mouse? Maybe not, because you keep trying to snap at El Diablo here. In my opinion, I think they deserve a little bit of a snack, you know? I know Brutus bit me a little bit, but he was scared, man. You know, it's like, things like that happen. You know, you get a little nervous, you don't know what's gonna happen. So, you know, hey, there you go, good boy. See, that's all you were wanting, man, just a little bit of food. Now don't eat this, this is nebulous. This is nebulous, come mm, hey, 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 dude, bro, come on, bro, bro. He's such a pig, he's such a pig. Dude, you just stole, you just stole Nebula's food. That was her snack. Well, I gotta go get another mouse then. Anyway, well, hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was kind of a little random, fun little space lizard exotics extraordinaire video of trying to do some different things with the Caymans and this little wonderful little swamp puppy who didn't really like his socialization today. Was not having it, was not really, wasn't digging it. We're gonna do more with that though too. I'm gonna put them on the ground a little bit more, see what they do, even just like kind of let them run around because I mean, they're not gonna hurt anything. They're not really gonna hurt me. They might bite my toes, you know, because I wasn't wearing any shoes today. 
that was, it kind of made me nervous when he was running around. I was like, man, what if he bites my big toe? It's gonna be awkward, right? Like, why are you walking funny? Oh, my cam and bit my toe. No big deal. But thank you so much for tuning in today. And thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Say, say some fun comments below. See what you think of, what do you think about Brutus and Nebula so far? Who do you think is a little bit more of a shyster? Who do you think is the cutest? Who do you think is the cutest? Comment below. So thank you so much for watching Space Those Exotics again. Thank you so much for tuning in and supporting this amazing channel. It means the world to me, it really does. It uh, motivates me, it gets me you know, excited to do videos for everyone and it uh, is super fun to just be around these glorious, amazing animals every single day and adding to the collection and I'm always excited to showcase new animals that I'm gonna be getting to the collection and just experiencing them and showing these amazing, beautiful animals to all of you wonderful, amazing human beings. So thank you so much for tuning in. If you haven't yet, definitely hit that subscribe button. That way you get to stay up to date with all the amazing, cool little reptilians like Brutus Maximus here and Nebula who's upset because she got her mouse taken. But anyway, thank you so much everyone and stay rad and have a rad, wonderful day or evening wherever you're at in this glorious world.